Well, now that you know where we are, my hand is shaky again, like usual. We're going to do a video of my pap's like new 2006 PT Cruiser that he just got. Pretty sweet. I actually kind of like the little PT Cruisers. So, uh. Oh, the lights are on. Alright, let's, uh. Let's go ahead and get in it. Twenty-six thousand one hundred and forty-four miles. Just to show you that it is a two thousand and six. Uh, oops. The manufacturer five oh six. All right. Doesn't have a power seat, but that's not a big deal. I do believe it is a base model, but still pretty nice. Has the 2.4 four cylinder. It's pretty neat. There's your climate control. Has uh, both front windows are automatic. So uh, let's uh, turn the lights on, the hazards, so you can see. We'll get out and take a look at it. Turn the AC off. We're already taking a ride in it. I'm not gonna do a video of it because it's not my car, or a video of it driving. So it's on my tripod with me. But ride real nice. Sweet. Pop the hood. Like I said, has the uh, 2.4 four cylinder with 150 horsepower and I believe 165 foot pounds of torque. Pretty sweet. He's washed, but it's in great shape, though. Uh, where's that? Yep, 2.4. Get back in it here. Oh, you can't see. I'll have to show you when I put it back in the garage, but these light up like a kind of bluish color like a lighter blue and these are more of a bluish green these lights here are kind of like that here I'll display the, the lights inside for you oh, I was wrong it's more of a white light for the for the gauges and down there you can see as well pretty sweet Let's see how she sounds. Sounds pretty good. Here, go ahead and uh, and then That sounds just like my transmission in my Chrysler. Listen when I put it in reverse. Wonder if it picked that up. Don't know. Here, let's uh, put the windows up in the front. Turn 
air on a little. Turn the radio on. Back to more music right now. Wait a minute. Nope, it's not what I thought it was. Got the two speakers in the doors, the two tweeters up on the dash, two more speakers in the back doors. If you can see that, I can't tell. Uh, it's a single CD, it looks like. Um, which runs pretty good. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and shut it off here. Make sure it's unlocked. Go ahead and get out and check out the rest of it. I feel like Saab Kyle 04. It's a little tight for leg room. Of course, I'm uh, about six foot. And, uh, yeah, you got enough height. Uh, looks like you got cup holders here. Window controls there. Pop the hatch in a minute here. Let's go ahead and get in the passenger door. The neighbors probably think I'm nuts for climbing out of the car like crazy. And starting it up and revving it and different things. Got some room up here. Hold a sec here. Definitely have enough headroom here. Cup holders are down there, auxiliary power. Oh, and it also has the auxiliary port on the radio for uh, for iPods and MPC players and CD players and different things. You have that storage compartment. And this storage compartment here. Majority brake. Shifter is pretty cool. But, uh... Go ahead and pop the hatch quick. Oh, you just push a button in there. Oh, I see. Okay. It's not the biggest hatch in the world, but it's big enough. You got plenty of room. So again, you just push the button, push it once, it pops, you can't pull yet, so you gotta put your finger back on there, and then you can pull it up. But, pretty sweet. Anyway, it's my PAPS uh, 2006 PT Cruiser with only 26,144 miles. Heck, I'd take it in a heartbeat. I think they're pretty sweet looking. I like the styling of the newer ones. They don't, they're, you got more of an edge. See what I mean? Instead of just being so round, they're more like distinct, I guess you could say. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the garage and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Sweet.